Hey everybody, welcome back. So, hi guys, I'm back. Um, pardon me if I look a little tired. It's been such a busy week, you guys. Um, a busy even day today, just running errands and doing a lot of different things in preparation for my trip to Ghana coming up in October. Yay! Um, as most of you know, I am going back in October. For those of you who don't know and may be watching me for the first time, welcome, hello, um, thank you for watching, um, and I am going back to Ghana in October, um, which is technically about a month away. Um, so yes, guys, I'm really excited. Um, as you all know, last year was my first time and I just learned so much and I'm really looking forward to returning and just seeing new things and, and more stuff that I didn't get to see the first time because so much stuff to see and to do, even going for one month like I did is not even enough time, but I will be back there for a month this time so i'll get to see a lot of places that i didn't get to see before um we're going to body falls this time guys which i'm really excited about because body falls is a highly recommended tourist attraction for people coming to ghana and stuff like that a lot of people that look forward to coming to ghana want to go to body falls and stuff like that so um that's definitely a place we're going to go to but Quickly, I'm here just for a little update on um, my visa stuff. So guys, I did get my multi-entry visa. My multi-entry visa did come um, in the mail on Friday, which was yesterday, because today I'm filming this, it's a Saturday. So it did come back Friday, um, August 19th, which was really, really exciting, you guys. Um, so everything is sealed and done now. Usually the visa is like your final last step so once you get your visa like you know okay I'm ready to go I'm good um so guys with the visa this time I did get the multi-entry visa now the multi-entry visa is a five-year visa um my first time going last year I applied for the single entry was which is a three-month visa now the reason I applied for that for my first time because I wasn't sure about the rules on like all right are you Will the embassy allow you to do a multi-entry since it's your first time? I didn't know that, so that's why I did the three-month single entry visa. However, I did learn from some of you guys sending me comments and messages that you actually applied for a multi-entry visa on your first visit and you didn't get denied. So that's really good to know. Um, and I welcome those things, guys. I welcome I welcome those comments and um, those different experiences because, you know, I learned from you guys too. Like many of you have gone to Ghana. Many of you live there or are Ghanaians. So a lot of you know a lot of things I may not know yet that I may just be discovering. So keep, you know, informing me if there's anything new or a different experience you guys had let me know and then that way I can compare experiences and just learn more. So um, thank you guys for doing that. But yeah, I have my multiple entry visa. I have it in hand with me here. I'm not gonna show it um, because obviously this is the internet as we know. Um, and then I would, when I edit, I will have to blur it out and all that stuff and I don't wanna have to do that. So just know that I do have my five year multiple entry visa, um, which is really good. Now guys, when I applied for my visa, I I did the expedited service. The reason I did expedited is just because I'm like, I want to get it as quickly as I can. I don't want to have to wait too long. Like me, I'm just that type of person. I get like super excited. Like I want it. I really want it quickly, you know. Um, so the process with the visa, if you do an expedited service, it's um, the processing time is seven working days. So seven business days. And then if you do a regular service, it's they say it's 15 working days now i will say this i have seen people say they've gotten a regular they went ahead and did the regular service 
and it took them not even 15 days it took them like maybe five or five days or less so it's very very possible you guys that if you do a regular service um that you know it will take five days or less that's very possible because for example with the multiple entry that i got even though on the embassy website they say the processing time is seven working days guys i got this in like three four working days so it's very possible i think the embassy just puts their standard and their process in writing of course that it may be this amount of time, but if they have time to do it as quickly as they can, and if you give them everything they need on the checklist and you send that in, like they can process it quickly and approve your visa as quickly as they can and get it sent back to you. So, um, you know, that's really good. So that's just what they list on their website. Um, so just so be aware of whatever you decide, whether you decide to pay for the expedited service or the regular service. The expedited, expedited service, as far as US is concerned, um, is $200. The regular service is um, $100. Now, that's for the multiple entry. For the multiple entry, if you do a regular service, it's $100. If you do expedited service, it's $200. Now, for the single entry, the single entry, I believe the regular service is $60. And then if you do the expedited for that, I believe that service is $100. So single entry and multiple entry do have kind of different fees. Um, so just be aware of that as well. Um, but I recommend guys, as always, like I say, if you're in the US, go to the Ghana Embassy site and find, you know, the way I found it was on Google Maps. So Google Maps is really convenient because Google Maps will base their, base the location off your current location where you live. So that's really convenient too. I know in the US, I believe there's three embassies here, I think. I think it's three. Um, of course, Washington DC, where I reside, Houston, Texas, I believe, and New York, they have an embassy of Ghana as well. So depending on where you are in the in this state, States where you are in the U.S. will depend on which region um, the embassy closest to you will be and where you will send that information to. Um, as far as I know, guys, but like I said, if there is anything different that I'm not mentioning, that I'm not aware about, you know, just put it in the comments. Um, you guys are really good at that. So just let me know um, all that stuff. Um, so yes, guys, the, another thing, um, guys, I'm sorry, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the COVID-19 vaccination card, that is required for you to even apply for a visa. Um, so make sure that if you are a non-citizen of Ghana, a non-resident, um, which would be you be considered a foreigner, make sure that you get that COVID-19 vaccine. Most people probably have it, but if I know there's many, many people as well that don't have it. So make sure that if you do plan to go to Ghana in the future, as far as now, the COVID-19 vaccination card is a requirement and you do have to send that into the embassy with your physical passport because they want to see that physically um and verify that you guys um you know there's been things in the, in the past and even still recently that people have been getting caught with fake COVID-19 vaccination cards and guys that is against the law you can get into a lot of trouble for doing that so definitely make sure it is a accurate and legitimate COVID-19 vaccination card. When you get the vaccine, they will give you this card once you get your final shot. Um, Moderna and Pfizer are two shots. Um, Johnson & Johnson is one shot. So depending on which shot you're comfortable with, you will get a vaccine card of proof at the end of that. Um, so you'll have to send that back into back with you'll have to send that to the embassy with your physical passport so they can verify that and then of course as you guys know the yellow fever shot is required now if you've already been to Ghana one time 
um, you don't have to get another yellow fever shot. It's a one and done shot. So you get it once and then you're done. You would just make sure you hold on to that yellow booklet that they give you on your shot because that is going to be your proof for life of this of this shot that you have it um, because Ghana Customs will want to see that. And I do believe the Ghana Customs will want to see your COVID-19 vaccination card as well as proof. So make sure that you have all that with you when you're boarding your um, flight to you know, get on the plane to head to Ghana. Make sure that you have that in your passport because that will be a requirement. And I believe it probably will be a requirement to, for them to see proof of that um, when you're you know, boarding your flight from your resident, your country of residence as well. So just have that you guys, um, you know, for you and everything. And guys, don't worry too. Like when you send your uh, physical copy of, no, not a copy, rather your physical COVID vaccine card and your yellow fever card, the embassy will send that back to you. So don't worry about that. They will send that back to you along with your physical passport. Like I have, I just put everything in this, in my passport here. The embassy will send this back to you. So you won't have to worry about anything getting lost or you not having what you need like they will send it back to you so you'll have all that information back um so yeah guys um that's pretty much it just a quick update if you have any questions put it in the comments if i missed anything just let me know and and um you know and i will answer and get back to you um but yeah guys october i will be gone i will be leaving i'm really excited of course i'm gonna film every single step that i'm there and you guys will get to see everything again so yeah i'm really excited um yeah you guys it's been a busy week so i feel pretty tired um, i'm gonna head to bed very very soon after i edit this video i'm gonna head to bed um so that's pretty much it you guys i hope you all are doing very well and um staying safe and and everything like that um, anyway guys um take care uh blessings to you all and um i will see you in the next video Bye.